Hey my unique followers, I'm Kelly. I am the creative mastermind behind Unique Designs by CNK. And today we're going to go over how to create the raindrop effect with resin. And I'm going to unmold because I had already done one. And I'm going to do the raindrop effect a little bit different from what I've seen online. This is what it looks like before you put the final resin on it. And of course, always wear your gloves. I have my gloves on because I'm getting ready to pour, uh, do the drops. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But we're gonna unmold him real quick. So, I did a white background because we're going with the theme this month, rainbows. So we're just gonna unmold him. He's a little cute little tray. I like doing molds that are simple like this because then I can put my own twist on whatever I'm creating. And this is what the raindrop effect looks like in resin that's th going around now. That seems to be trending a lot lately. And I actually, I don't even know if I want to sell this. I'm in love with it. I really like this effect. But with the raindrop effect, I'm going to show you how to do it, and then you can do it your way. Once I've seen how they do they do the raindrop effect, a lot of the ladies that, and gentlemen that I've seen out there doing this effect do clear resin, and then take pigment powder and rub it over it, and then do like a dark base on the back. Doing it this way gives you a lot of ways to play with it. So this is really cool. I really like him. We'll see what Jay say, says in a minute. <laughs> She's in her room hiding. All right, I am going to show you how to create the drops. Now, like I said, we're rainbow. So I used Lorazia, the, the dark red holographic. And I forget which brand he is, but he's a neon orange. And then I used extra fine sunny yellow you, I found him at um, Hobby Lobby the other two I found at on Amazon and again a dark blue I believe this is sapphire blue holographic from the Riz also found him on Amazon and then green and I forget which brand it is I hate it when uh, glitter brands don't put a label on their glitter bottles because I'm gonna remember where I get them from. But I know I got him off of Amazon. And then this little purple, he came in a set that I got at Hobby Lobby. So the way we're going to do the raindrop effect is I'm gonna start with my red. Now I do get my rainbow colors mixed up, so I did look it up online. That's why it looks good as good as it does, because get them mixed up. I I reverse the blue and the purple a lot. The same thing with the red. I flip yellow and red around. So we're going to do it correctly this time. All you do is, this is about, I did about 30 milliliters of resin and I divided it into six cups, about five milliliters in each cup to just put a little drop on him. Your drops don't have to be uniform because raindrops aren't uniform. And for some reason, he made turkey today. I might have put too much glitter in him. Sometimes you have that effect. But it'll make him different from everybody else. Usually with resin, if it's a repeatable pour, you sometimes still get it, it still varies. No resin pores are exactly alike, no matter how many times you do the same item. So, I'm working on my drops right now. We're gonna do red. Did I have it on the side? Yes, I did. I'm trying to match them, but sometimes my raindrops aren't, this raindrop's not gonna look the same as its comrades but that is 
okay. Because with resin, it's not meant to... They Even though they could be the same pour, being different is good. Just like in life. So... So my drops are going to be a little bit different from its, uh, its friends. And that's okay. Rainbows aren't meant to be the same. Oh, I did the same thing with this friend over here. When it's thick like that, it's just I have too much glitter in there. I have a habit of being heavy-handed with my glitter. Let's see, can I get him to, ooh, he's gonna drop for me, yes. And things like that happen. Even us that have been doing resin for a couple years, we'll make mistakes like this. Or we'll be mad at, each, at ourselves, but Mistakes create beautiful effects. So, if I can get him to cooperate, there he goes. It's okay to make a mistake. Just know that with resin. So most mistakes are fixable and sometimes you just get a different effect. So there's our orange. Okay, I got the yellow right. <laughs> Somewhat right. The yellow looks correct in consistency to where I can drop them and get the raindrop effect. But I've seen ladies use different tools to create this effect. And it's okay. Sometimes we just can't afford a, those tools. I've seen ladies use, ladies and gentlemen, forgive me guys, I know there, there are some of you out there that do, the, do this type of art too. And some of them use a pipette, a little plastic um, pipette that's re, uh, not reusable, you could toss it. I'm showing you the uh, way that if you don't have a pipette, you can use a popsicle stick. My last, my last two cooperated with me. I know what I did wrong. And that happens. So don't fret if you messed up and it's a little on the chunky side. It happens. See, he's going to be a little bit more cooperative. Come on. There we go. There's the drop. My grain's a little bit thinner, so he's going to drop a lot nicer for me. But because I'm recording and I don't want to keep you guys too long and be boring, I'm moving a little fast. The benefit about this video is you can always pause it so you can see it. And some drops will be bigger and some won't. Just like its comrade right there. I just thought this was a cool effect when I saw it online. I had seen it start trending in the resin world and I figured why not? Better yet, let's do a video about it. And a, what a perfect way to show you the versatility of this technique. 
by doing it with rainbow colors. See, it's dropping a lot nicer to me because I didn't get so heavy handed with the other colors like I did with the, <laughs> the first several colors. And if you're new to this and you're getting frustrated because you, it's not moving the way you want, you can heat the resin up a little bit. I don't like to heat the resin up for a reason. For one, you can, if you do it in a mold, you're trying to get air bubbles out, I recommend using rubbing alcohol because Heat can degrade your silicone mold over time. And I learned that the hard way until I was in one of my resin groups. And uh, one of the ladies goes, hey, you wanna know how you can make it easier to get air bubbles out and not degrade your mold? Try using rubbing alcohol. And I say, Thank you to that lady because she just saved me a whole bunch of money in molds because I found myself blowing through all my molds because I used some certain molds so much. Oh, he's a lot thinner. He's going to drop nicely. See, you want a consistency like that. It'll give you nice drops. Kind of pours off. My last couple... Didn't drop as nice. And my my resin self centers it or self levels itself. I use Pudo, but I do have a fun tutorial that I'm going to have coming up soon, where I'm taking several brands that I have heard about, see a lot of people talk about. And I'm going to give them a try. We're going to do, uh, they're all going to be similar pours. Probably just one might be playing with how it affects with, I haven't decided if it's mica powder or we're doing alcohol inks. But I got like four brands that I'm going to test out. They range in cost. Now, because I'm obsessed, obsessed with my Pudo resin so this is going to be really hard for me to stay um transparent with it i'm gonna do my best i am died hard poodle fan i love my poodle resin see he's dropping a lot nicer nice consistent drops all right there we go so, once you have done this part, let it set for 24 hours. For Pudo, for me, in 12 hours, I could put a layer on. All right, here's the fun part. Now, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna put the base on. I did white. I used Perlex Mica Powder, or Powder Pigment, they call it, and Micro Pearl. 652. Macro pearl. I'm sorry. Where did I get micro from? I'm seeing eyes where they shouldn't be. Now, this, to fill this mold, it's about, um, about 180 milliliters of resin. And you just pour it over. Yes, I did not spray my mold with rubbing alcohol because I already have resin in here and I don't know. I'm just weird. I'm pretty sure you could get away with doing that. But I'm weird. So I don't like doing it. When I've already got a layer in here. So this is about 180 milliliters of resin. I like to fill it up to the brim. Where it just slightly domes. Just slightly domes. Just like that. Now, with this technique, 
your imagination is your only limit. Like, I could see this technique, this raindrop of technique being done, like, where you can almost do a war borealis effect with this with a sparkly black background but the bright like soft neon blues and purples and greens and dots that would be a really cool effect or a, a metallic one where you you can use gold as your background and then have bronze and silver drops and copper drops I mean your imagination is your only limit so for and for this video in the comments below why don't we throw rain clouds or thunder clouds in the comments below so until next time be you be unique